You just can't see it. It's still pretty stuck in the ear. I don't know where I'm going to start after that because when David asked me to do this, I said, well, I'll do, I've got to learn this. <laughs> And I started to look at it and decided there was no way I was going to learn this. So, you're going to have to drop with me reading it. He's uh, <laughs> so, I'm going to read it from the Collins Albatross book of longer poems. That's just to let you know what you're in for. <laughs> if, 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 it gets, if it gets boring, if it, if it gets boring, we'll give you the bird. Yeah. If it gets boring, Sheila's promised to hold my knee and let me know that it's getting boring and I'll just go on a wee bit longer. Tell her what it's like when she's doing it. After that, Peter, I think, I, better, I think after that, Peter, I better just start with Tam and Shan. Anyway, Tam O'Shanter is a poem that Burns wrote, and he, he, he wrote it about a man who was a farmer, a tenant farmer like himself, who obviously liked to go out in the booze when he'd finished working, and he spent many a happy hour drinking. But equally, there was Nearby where they went drinking, an old churchyard which was reputed to be haunted. And so they talked about this quite a lot. And basically, this is a story about Tam, or Shanta, Shanta being the name of his farm, uh, out drinking and then trying to go home past the churchyard. I hope that might give you some trying sort of idea of what it's all about. <laughs> when Chapman bullies leave the street and druthy neighbours neighbors meet, and market days are wearing late, and folk begin to tack the gate. While we sit boozing at the nappy, and getting foo and uncu happy, we think now in the Lang Scots miles, the mosses, waters, slates, and styles that lie between us and our home, where sits your sulky, sullen dame. <laughs> gathering our booze, <laughs> gathering storm, <laughs> nursing our wrath. To keep it warm. <laughs> <laughs> this truth fanned honest Tom O'Shanta, as he free air in night did canter. All the air from ne'er a tune surpasses for honest men and bonny lasses. O oh, Tam, hadst thou but been so wise, and ta'en thy ain wife Kate's advice. Aye. She told thee well as she went you was a skellum, a blethering, blustering, drunken blellum. <laughs> That fray November till October, a hey, market day that was they sober. <laughs> that ilka melder with the miller, the sack as lang as thou had siller. That every nag was cud a shoein, the smith and knee got roaring fuin. That at the Lord's house, even on Sunday, thou drank with Captain Jean till Monday. <laughs> she prophesied that late or soon thou would be found deep drowned in doon, or catched with warlocks in the muck by Alloway's old hunted cook. Ah, gentle dames, it gars me greet, to think how many counsels sweet, how many lengthened sage advices the husband for the wife despises. <laughs> <laughs> but to your tale, the market night, Tam had got planted uncu right, fast by the ingle, blazing finely, with reaming swats that drank divinely. And at his elbow, Suter Johnny, <laughs> his ancient, trusty, druthy crony. <laughs> Tam looed him like a very brother. They had been foo for weeks together. <laughs> the night drove on with sangs and clatter, and by the ale was growing better. The landlady and Tom grew gracious. We favour secret, sweet and precious. Mm -hmm. The suitor told his queerest stories. The landlord's laugh was ready chorus. The storm without might rear and rustle. Tam didn't mind a whistle. Care mad to see a man so happy, he drowned himself among the nappy. As bees flee home with lades of treasure, the minutes winged their way with pleasure. Kings may be blessed, but Tam was glorious. For all the ills of life victorious. But pleasures are like poppies spread. He sees the flower, the bloom is dead. Or like the snow falls on the river, a moment white, then melts forever. Or like the Borealis race, mm. that flit till you can point their place. Or like the rainbow's lovely form, be vanishing amid the storm. 
No man can tell their time nor tide, the hour approaches Tam and Ride, the tower o' nights black arch the key stain, that dreary hour he mounts his beast in, and sick a night he tacks the road in, as ne'er poor sinner was abroad in. The wind blew as twould blood its last, the rattling showers rose in the blast, the speedy gleams the darkness swallowed, loud, deep and lang the thunder bellowed. That night a child might understand, the deal had business on his hand. Wheel mounted on his grey mare Meg, a better, a better never lifted leg. Tam Skelp, Tam Skelp it on through Dubbin Mire, despising wind and rain and fire, whilst holding fast his good blue bonnet, whilst crooning o'er an old Scots sonnet, whilst glowering round with prudent cares, lest bogles catch him unawares. Kirk Alloway was drawing nigh, where ghosts and hoolets nightly cry. By this time he was crossed the ford, where in the snow the chapman smoored, and past the burks and meekle stain, where drunken Charlie Brack's neck bane, and through the winds and by the cairn, where hunters find the murdered bairn, and near the thorn, aboon the well, where Mungo's mother hang herself. Mm -hmm. Before him doon pours all his floods, the doubling storm roars through the woods, the lightnings flash from pole to pole, near and more the thunder roll. When glimmering through the groaning trees, Kakalwe seemed in a blaze. Through all Kabor the beams were glancing, and loud resounding mirth and dancing. Inspiring bold, jar, back, bold John Barleycorn, what dangers thou canst make a scorn? We tippany, we fear me evil, we boot or boot Yuskabe, we face the devil. The swat say reamed in Tammy's noddle. Fair play, he cared na deals a bottle, but Maggie stood right sair astonished, till by the heel and hand admonished, she ventured forward in the light and vow, Tam saw an uncu sight. Warlocks and witches in a dance, nae cotillion, brent fain new fae France, but hornpipes, jigs, trithbays and reels, put life and metal in their heels. A win at bunker in the east, there sat old Nick, in shape o' beast, a towsy tyke. Black, grim and large, to give them music was his charge. He screwed the pipes and gat them skirl, till loof and rafters thou did dirl. Coffins stood round like open presses that shod the death in their last dresses. And by some devilish cantrip slate, each in its cold hand held a light, by which heroic Tam was able to note upon the haley table a murderer's banes and gibbet urns, to a span lang wee and christened bairns, a thief new cutted for a rape, we his last gap his gab did gape. Five tomahawks with blood red rusted, five scimitars with murder crusted, a garter which a babe had strangled, a knife a father's throat had mangled, from his ain son o' life bereft, the grey hairs yet stuck to the heft. We mere o' horrible and awful, which even to name would be unlawful. As Tammy glowered amazed and curious, the mirth and fun grew fast and furious, the piper loud and louder grew, the dancers quick and quicker flew, they reeled, they set, they crossed, they click it, to Lilka Carlin swat and reek it, and coost her duddies to the wark and link it at it in her sack. Now Tam, oh Tam, had they been queens, all oh, plump and strapping in their tweens, their sacks instead of creasy flannin, been snow white seventeen hunter linen, their breeks o' mine, my only pair, the ains were plush and good of blue hair, I would he gain them aft my hurdies, for ear blink with they bonny birdies. But with her beldams old and droll, like woody hags would spin a foal, loupin' and flingin' in a crummock, I wonder didn't it turn my stomach. <laughs> but Tam, ken what was foo, what, what was foo brawly? There was a winsome wench and wally that night enlisted in the core. Lang after kenned in Carrick shore, for many a beast to dead she shot, and punished many a bonny boat, and shook baith meekle con and bear, and kept the countryside in fear. Her cutty sark of paisley harm, that while a lassie she had worn, in longitude was sorely scanty, it was her best, and she was vaunty. Ah, little ken, thy reverend granny, that sark she coughed for her wee nanny, we top on Scots, twas all her riches, would ever grace a dance o' witches. But here my muse her wingman cur, sick flights are far beyond her power. To sing how nanny lap and flying, and supple jade she was and strang, 
And how Tam stood like yin bewitched, And thought his very e'en enriched, Even Satan glowered, And fidged for fain, And hotched and blew with might and main, Till first a caper sign another, Tam tint his reason, all together, And rose out, well done, cutty sark, And in an instant, all <coughs> was dark. And scarcely had he mag Maggie rallied, When out the hellish legion sallied, as bees buzz with angry fight, when plundering herds assail their bike, and open pussy's mortal foes, when pop she starts afore their nose, as eager runs a market crowd, when catch the thief resounds aloud, so Maggie runs the witches follow, when money and eldritch screech and hollow. Ah, Tam, ah, Tam, thou'll get thy fearing, in hell they'll roast thee like a heron. In vain thy Kate awaits thy coming, Kate soon will be a woeful woman. Now do thy speedy up, Miss Meg, and win the keystain o' the brig. There at them thou thy tail may toss, <laughs> a running stream that dim across. <laughs> but ere the keystain she could make, the faint a tail she had to shake, for Nanny, far before the rest, hard upon noble Maggie pressed, and flew at Tam with furious ettle. But little wish she Maggie's metal. A spring brought her off her master hail, but left behind her ain grey tail. <laughs> The carlin caught her by the rump and left poor Maggie scarce a stump. Now, what oh, this tale of truth shall read. Oh, man and mother's son, take heed. When e'er to drink you are inclined, think ye may buy the joys of our dear. Remember, Tam O'Shanter's mare. <laughs>